Dear friends, in this video, we are going to learn how can you break this graph where it says failed, which is actually the count of business exceptions plus application exceptions. Generally, the business exceptions are a transaction which I would like to show it separately. So business exceptions are not actually the failures, but again, you know, as per the business validation, you know, the bot has identified them as the data was incorrect. That's why business application failed uh, status comes. So how can I break this failed graph into two? One would be the business application. The other one should be application exception. So how to do that? Now for that, the previous graph that we have created in my previous video, I'm going to simply duplicate this. So for this, let me first edit the dashboard. Click here and click on duplicate tile. So I got the duplicate tile. Here I'll, I'm going to click on this button and change it as transaction by status advanced. Okay. Now here, let's do a couple of things. So what I want this failed, uh, the one which is failed, right? I want to break it up. Now, how do I do this? Now for this, first of all, just to show in a proper way based on my data available on my tenant. So what I will do first, I will apply a small filter here just to later we can remove it. So I'll say queue name. And right now, let me select one of the queue. And run it. So only for this queue, this is how the breakup is that we saw it initially, right? Now here, I would like to break this failed. So if you, if I click on it, it says there are 12 items, but this 12 items is combination of both application exception and business exception. So how do I break this? I need to learn. Now for this, I have to use a field. What is the field? The field called exception type. Okay, processing exception type. So if you simply click on this, and now this field has added and everything has no data. I'm going to click on run. And now you can see what it has done is the failed category. It has categorized them business exception. You have six application exceptions. You have six. So this is the category of failed. Now, if you see the graph is gone, I'm not able to build the graph. Because a pie chart requires two columns. Now, because there are three columns, I'm not able to build a graph. And also the abandon, let's say I don't need the abandon. I'll remove the abandon one. I just need, uh, okay, I think you can keep it. Not a problem. Okay. So what I want is I would like to categorize them. Okay. I would like to categorize the successful uh, as successful, failed as application exception and business exception. Uh, and this one, the one that says none, right? Abandoned. So probably abandoned. I'm, I'm, I'm not interested at the moment. I'm going to remove it. I'll just keep only these three fields, fail and successful. Okay. Now, how do I show it? How do I show it? How do I break it? So for this, I am going to click on this button for the exception type, and I'm going to click on group. Okay. This is a technique which you may not find, this will be pretty helpful for you in case you need to build a graph, something like this. I'm going to click on group. And here in the group, the very first thing I want is, uh, uh, let's say business exception. So I'll say business exception. And which one I would like to categorize as business exception, the one which has business exception in the category we saw. And then I'm click on plus sign and I will write application exception and the category which I have is application exception. Now the one which says none, right? That is a successful one. So I will say successful and I'm going to select the category as none. So this is how I am grouping them. None means successful, application exception, means application exception, business exception means business exception. So bit of Changes in the filter also I have done. I have removed the abandoned because that was also showing none. That's why I have re removed it. And I've kept all these three reasons and I'm going to click on save. Before that, give it a name. 
um so i will say advanced status advanced you can provide any name you like and i'm going to hit on save now by doing this the new column got added and there are no values at the moment i'm going to run it so what exactly it is doing it is going to group so wherever it finds the business exception it will name it as business exception and wherever it found application exception it will name it as application exception wherever it found none it is marking it as successful because it is a successful transaction now if you see 1666 so i got a breakup now the graph is not i am not able to build the graph so what i will do i'll click on this settings and i'm going to hit on hide this field i'm going to select on this and i'm going to click on hide this field from visualization so now what i have got status advanced and i have got all these breakups so if you see it here successful is 57 percentage business exception is 21 percentage application exception is 21 do you see i'm going to hit on save now i got a breakup okay just wait for a few seconds now you can see now for this one which was saying failed 40 percentage now that 40 percent is now break you know divided into two parts one is a business exception around six and another one six now here because we have considered abandoned let's say i would not consider abandoned here i'll click on this and i don't want abandoned i just want the successful and failed save so here i have applied the filter for only one queue so it is around 42.86 and this is the breakup okay if you add both of them it will also come up to 42.86 so this is the breakup you getting it now i am able to customize now there could also be advanced requirement for example i would like to show the sum of business exception and success as success i want to show this as success and only the application exception i would like to show it as failure there could be multiple requirements of how you want to see the data now for this all i will do i'll simply first of all let me save this so we don't lose it okay so once is once it is saved i'm again clicking on edit and then i'm going to click on duplicate tile and again i would make an advanced breakup so what is that i would sum this system successful and the business exception as one category in the graph so how to do that again click on this so here i will name it as part two and here how do i group them so for this grouping only you have to focus is the in the newly created status advance right this is the column that we have created so again i'll go here click on edit okay so anything which is a business exception i would like to mark it as successful simply change the name okay rest remains same i'm going to turn save and now i'm going to run it again so what happens look at this status earlier it was saying business exception now it will be marked as successful do you see this also marked as successful this also marked as successful so the application exception is marked as successful and this also marked as successful now but here what is happening if you see successful it is saying it is also saying successful however there are two different elements do you see there are two different elements so how can i fix it okay you can easily fix it the primary problem with this is now you can see successful successful are showing our two different categories i'll click on in use and maybe what i can try is remove uh, some of the fields that i have okay so i have this field processing exception type just click on this once it is gone and then i have this um, processing status i am going to remove it from here now let's run it okay now once you have removed those ones instead of hiding you can see it has broken itself into two different categories successful 78 percentage and failed 21.43 percentage so if i'm going to hit on save so it should sum up two things okay one it has sum up the 57 plus your 21 which is somewhere around right 57 78 so you can see 78 percent now it is showing successful and fail it is showing 21 let's say you would like to change the colors of the fail to maybe red in color or some other color you can always do that click on edit click on series and the fail color is this 
I would like to change it to maybe maroon color and I would like to save it. So this way it actually gives the proper breakup. So you have learned lot many advanced things now on the UiPath Insights transaction by status. Thank you for watching. Let's meet once again in our next content.